If you saw my 2021 planner stack video, you know I started off this month using the Erin Condren Softbound Planner in the hourly format. As you can see, I used it in a very functional way, literally only pen and highlighter. And while nothing was wrong with this setup, per se, um, I didn't really feel like it was serving me. I added a notes segment just in Microsoft Word. Um, I created a single column table and added an image of dot grin to it for the notes since this is my work planner and I only used it Monday through Friday. I like to be able to just kind of jot things down as they came to me during the week, whether it was related to my work or not. But then in early January, I discovered the Passion Planner daily through the Amanda's Favorites channel, and I knew I had to have one. I had previously known about the Passion Planner weekly layout, which honestly I don't like. But when I saw the daily, oh, I just, I just lost it. Um, so it had all the benefits of the EC Softbound with the additional benefit of having built-in free writing space. And as you can see, I love decorating it. Unfortunately, they're low on stock right now. Um, they're only selling the rose gold color, uh, which isn't bad, but it isn't what I wanted. So I was able to find a Passion Planner daily group on Facebook, and one of the members had three they were willing to sell. I am loving this so far, and it's really working out well for me regarding my day job planning. When it comes to my writing and editing business, I had an extremely productive month. I hit my income goals regarding freelance client work, mostly due to my academic clients. I also took on my first coaching client, which is so exciting because this person's planned memoir had such an important message, and I'm looking forward to helping them with its construction. I wrote four chapters of my work in progress, which is the third book in the Mason trilogy. Uh, book one has been published and is now available, and I have a blog tour set up for February. The cover for book two is in revision right now, and I expect it to be finalized within the next week. So book two should be on sale by mid-February. I also published two blogs on Medium, which I haven't really done before, and most exciting, I started my own community as an alternative to Facebook, which really hasn't been serving me. I'll announce this community properly on this channel soon, but there's a link to it below. Right now, I only have existing clients as members, but despite the low numbers, I'm already getting much more interaction than I ever did on Facebook or Instagram, maybe even combined. Finally, I'm working on my health by way of my Peloton bike, which is rather humbling, <laughs> uh, but I'm looking forward to getting stronger in my cardio capacity and in my leg muscles over time. Overall, this month has gone well and I've met my goals, so I'm going into February with a positive mindset and the hope I'll be able to get more writing done. If you like this video, it's kind of new, I understand, um, let me know with a like and a comment, and if this format is something that you enjoy, I'll probably plan on doing these at the end of every month. I'll be back next week with a video on how not to get sued for your memoir. So until then, take care and write well.